hi there this is going to be a general love reading <clears throat> for the sign of scorpio hi scorpios this is going to be for the second half of june this would be for sun moon rising venus signs as well as a cross watcher of the scorpio now for the first half of june those readings that i did there is an extended reading that you can purchase but for the second half readings there will be no second extended to purchase just these free ones okay i always urge you to watch your sun moon rising venus signs because you never know what you resonate with more okay let's get started i apologize if you hear some noise my neighbor across the street he um does woodwork so you know he living his best life over there doing his thing but if you guys hear things that's what it is scorpio sun moon rising venus signs first card is retreat it's time to disconnect from the world so scorpio energy you know scorpios are not the most out there they like to oh pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you somebody could do this and retreat because of red flags but are the red flags red flags or do you think they're red flags bottom of the deck this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek see that's why i felt to ask that is it red flags or is it just you you're creating red flags do you know what i mean is it truly caution or are you just overly cautious and making shit up because <laughs> according to this it says this could be the one and for some of you, you've already met them. It's just obvious what it is. See, nine of swords, just fears, worries. You know, sometimes Scorpios can be worry warts. A lot of other signs can be too. This could be Virgo energy. For some of you are the Virgo or have Virgo in your chart, where it's this Libra to worry energy. Somebody's just worried. They're kind of like, you know what I think it could be too? Somebody met their person and it freaked them out. And then that's why they basically clammed up went back into their turtle shell if you will because they met the one queen of wands intimidation this is fire aries the osag but it feels like this is an intimidating energy and maybe you weren't prepared or they're spicy they're like sriracha they're, they're definitely tapatia. Like their energy is very sexy, fun, charming, creative, like, you know, just, and it's very different now. See, look, the Scorpio's doing this. Something tells me the Scorpio's doing this, like clamming up, um, holding back. But of course, it could be the opposite. Always put yourself where it is. Somebody here is holding back and clamming up. Somebody's very like, you know, just there and then somebody's just kind of like trying to run away not running away out of well it is yeah it is out of fear with the nine of swords i was going to see it's a fear of the unknown scorpios are like an aquarius i'm an aquarius sun sign we like to know the outcome <laughs> period it's just not, i'm sure you were waiting for more there is no more we just want to know what how it's going to end we don't like surprises so this person goes holy shit i've met somebody of absolute quality and probably maybe it's like the thing of like i don't ever meet people of quality and like now i'm freaked out because it's like holy shit and the thing with scorpios is also that when they give they give everything and they know that when they cross that threshold there's no return it's for them it's all or nothing and they want to be sure that with if they give their all it's not going to be in vain like it was possibly in the past it's the fear of the unknown here that's going to keep somebody hiding or 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 from withholding but see it's destined and faded this encounter this person in strong virgo energy too with the hermit bottom of the deck and i feel that too with that energy of retreating but it could just be that it's taking on that energy of the hermit that you were alone and that you were on your spiritual journey going through a spiritual awakening and you weren't looking for love and then love comes but isn't that always when it happens it happens when you're not looking it's just freaking somebody out 
and the timing of it is just the right time. Whether you think it's not the right time, the spirit saying it is. The eight of wands, see the hermit again fell out. So the hermit is seeking answers, but they come from within. So this is someone here who could be having self of, of epiphanies, right? Like you going, oh my God, aha, like, like it's freaking out almost. But and it, it has this feeling though of like being alone. You were alone and wanted to be alone and then you find this and it's kind of like, no, <laughs> no, star, it says aqua, Aquarius energy, but it's also destined and faded again. The star is having a card of, oh, excuse me, I can't talk, you guys know we're, we're feeling those retrograde vibes already, Mercury retrograde vibes. <clears throat> The star is the card of hope. It is about healing. It is about, it's just destined. I was gonna say something else and I feel like they're just going, no, it's destined, the emperor. The eight of wands is could be communication, could be movement. Feels like there's movement. Feels like what's causing this stuck, holding back, it's just kind of breaks through, breaks free. You got to become the emperor, right? The emperor could be Aries energy, but the emperor has to be that kind of an energy to take on this energy. It doesn't matter about the signs either, okay? It could be all 12 signs. It doesn't matter. It's the energy of somebody being very alpha. She's, she's passionate. She's fun. She's sexy. She's charismatic. You got to be in this energy to be able to match this. This energy here, she's the empress, no doubt, but it's like something in this energy, she pulls maybe this more. Maybe she's a little more creative. Maybe she's a little bit more spicy in that kind of an aspect, right? Oh, the ace of fucking cups. This could be the one. Yeah, it's looking that way, huh? Came out with the magician. It's manifested. The cup of love. This is manifested. That that can freak somebody out too. That the fact that what I asked for I actually got. What do you mean I get what I want? I'm so used to asking and not getting it. That's that kind of an energy. Sometimes Scorps can be a little pessimistic. Yeah, of course it depends what else you have on your chart. Of course. But real strong characteristics of Scorpios can be a little more on the dark side, pessimistic, right? They're the gods of the underworld. So they're always thinking about a little bit more so of, you know, the glass half empty thing. Um, but that's not to say all of them. So again, we're not generalizing. We're just pointing out what the major characteristics would be. And if, if it is you, it is you. And if it ain't you, it ain't you. This was manifested and someone's freaking out saying this has got to be an illusion it's a test it's an illusion it's not real with the magician you know? but it's real uh, it's disbelief it's how the hell justice libra energy here but there's also karmic balance. Karmic scales have been balanced somehow. In the two of wands, there's a choice made and now there's progress that's gonna happen. The choice is made, it's a life-changing decision. For some, this is your karmic payout. It's part of your abundance, part of your payday, if you will. Meeting this person, again, it's, it's definitely an old soul connection see there you are strong in your reading death hiding out in the background you know it's like it's most scorpios that i know and again if they pull very strong scorp they do not like to be in the spotlight matter of fact they like to be the wallflowers in the back they like to be behind the scenes and watch and lurk they don't like to be front and center makes them feel too vulnerable there's power in silence and there's power in unknown in a sense, right? And, and this is where they're coming from is what I'm saying. And remember, they're under, underworld. That's where they feel most comfortable. 
it's just all about that every sign is a little different but but and, and i know scorpios really well because my dad is one and he's just like this you know my grandma was a scorpio but females are very different from males as far as the astrological signs go um and, you know of course entertain scorpios romantically so you know a lot of them they just don't like that spotlight although but they also want you to pay attention to them this weird thing that they have see i told you the empress i told you that that's what she was And this is the one I want to plant my seed in. The counterpart, the match. I just did a reading recently called The Emperor and His Empress. You know, it's, it's, it's time. It's meeting your match. Ace of Pentacles here. This could be moving. This could be career change. This could be a bonus of something coming in. Like, um, you get money that you weren't expecting. This could also be a long-term, solid, committed relationship. Both of you have very solid foundations. Five of Pentacles. Someone's afraid that they'll lose it. I'm, I'm afraid it'll be everything I want, but then I lose it. Page of Cups. I'm afraid to even touch it. Someone here could be just deathly afraid to even start something. Five of Swords, they're afraid they'll get hurt. It's all about this hurt. Self-sabotage. Self-sabotage so is a big deal here with Scorp Energy sometimes. Where, see, secret admirer, crush, someone absolutely feels it, but they held themselves back. They, they wouldn't even let you know. A Scorpio could act like they hate your guts, but then yet be in love. See, so your energy again. Knight of Cups. This is like secret admirer. This is someone who's watching you from afar. Pretending like you don't want it, but you do. But this is not to be mistaken for somebody who really don't want you, right? You got to have self-awareness and discernment. Someone says, I don't want you. Believe them. <laughs> and if they come back to you, then it's a different story, right? But if you're four, five, six, seven, eight times, they block you on everything. They are screaming in your face, leave me the fuck alone. And leave them the fuck alone, right? It's all about self-awareness and discernment here. But this is, they're, they're hooked. But afraid. Because they know that with you, they've never felt that before. That total sense of all in gorgeous energy thank you for all of your likes your shares and your subscriptions here on youtube and please follow me on instagram xi underscore missy underscore xi and to book a reading with me please click on the description box below see what i offer first and then shoot me an email put it in the title of the email what it is that you want so i know what to invoice you all this week i will be shipping out my kaya Knight rise bracelets as well as the black onyx protection ones and any extras that i had was on my website click on the link below to get there um but I guess I'll be seeing you soon, Scorps. Love you guys. Bye.